My name is Miss Emily. And I'm Miss Amy. And together we make known the beauty of Jesus. And we do this by loving God and loving others. Hey, Miss Amy, what are we going to learn today? Well, Miss Emily, we are going to learn a story from the Bible where Jesus and his friends are on a boat and there was a big storm and his friends were so scared. They ran to Jesus. Jesus awoke from his sleep and he told the storm to be still and everything was at peace. He was able to calm the storm. Wow, Miss Amy. So when life is stormy, gloomy, or gray, I will run to Jesus and I'll trust in him because I know he's in control. That's right. No matter what you're going through, run to Jesus and he will bring you to peace. We hope you enjoy the lesson. Hey, Tony. Hey, Harper, how are you? Good. You look relaxed. Oh, I am. I got all my work done early, so I'm just relaxing to the max and totally at peace. I got all my work done today, too. Can I join? Oh, yeah, for sure. Pull up a chair. Let the relaxing begin. All right! Connect HQ2 team reporting for duty. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Hi. My name is Tony, and this is how I learn to have peace when things are out of control. You scared us. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just excited for our assignment. Assignment? Yeah. The Connect Board sent us here so we can take an inventory. This way, we'll know all the things we need when it's time to move into HQ2. So we're just counting the things we see here at HQ. That's right. Well, we're happy to have you. Yeah, make yourselves at home. Thanks. We got a lot of work to do. Should we get started? Yeah. And if you need anything, just let us know. There's plenty of space here for all of us, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, I was sorry. Thank God, go right. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little harder to relax to the max when we've got a full house, huh? No, 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 no. I'm totally, <sighs> totally relaxed. Oh, yeah. Hey, we got a postcard. Let's check it out. Dear Connect HQ, how can I feel at peace when everything's going wrong? I just lost my dog and my parents told me that we're moving to a new city. Everything's out of control. What should I do? Signed, Lucy. That's a really good question. Do you think we can handle it? Are you kidding me? We are relaxing to the max. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. We are relaxing so much. Oh, we are so much at peace. Um, it's going to be great. We, we will have this have this question answered in absolutely no, oh, thank you, uh, absolutely no time. Oh, sorry. Um, you know what, maybe, maybe a little space would be nice. Uh, let's go outside. Great idea. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a problem, a massive storm just hit. Massive storm. Okay, in, in that case, I think I have the perfect Bible story to help Lucy out. Let's go to the observatory and check it out, okay? Hey, no. Are you okay? It's just a storm, but I'm fine. All right, all right. Well, let's inventory. Do, do we have to right now? Yes, we have to. But, but. Oh, I promise it'll be fine. I know it'll help. Try this. Huzzah! Huzzah. That's the spirit. Let's go. Much more peaceful in here. No, it's so nice to have peace and quiet. Oh, oh sorry. Hey, yeah. oh. Um, you know, whenever I heard uh, about Lucy's question, it reminded me of the time when Jesus calmed the storm. Uh, here, let's watch it. Sorry, just inventorying these pens. Pretend I'm not here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pens. Sorry, all done. 
eight pence. Let's watch. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. One evening, Jesus and his disciples decided to cross the Sea of Galilee. But after they left, a big storm rose up. Waves came over the sides of the boat, and the boat started to fill with water. The disciples were terrified, but when they looked around, they couldn't find Jesus anywhere. They ran to the back of the boat and found Jesus there, asleep. The disciples woke Jesus up and said, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? But when Jesus saw the wind and the waves, he wasn't afraid. Instead, he said, Silence, be still. And at that moment, the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. Everything was at peace. The disciples were amazed and asked, Who is this man? Even the wind and the waves obey him. The wind and the waves obey Jesus because he is the Son of God. He has control over everything. All of us experience times in our lives that feel like storms, when we're scared or stressed out or feel like everything is out of control. But no matter what, Jesus is still in control. No matter what hard times we face, we can trust Him to bring peace. That's a perfect story as we're in a storm right now. Yeah, you got that right. And what did the disciples do when they were terrified? Run to Jesus. Yeah, Jesus calmed the storm oh, and wind and brought peace. Jesus is in control. Yeah, when your life feels like a storm or whenever it uh, is you're worried or you're terrified or even stressed, you can just trust God and know that He brings peace. Do you think that'll help answer Lucy's question? Well, a lot of the stuff in her life seemed like a storm, so I think it's a step in the right direction. All right. <laughs> High five? Yes. Yeah, oh. oh. I'm so sorry. sorry that. <laughs> it's okay. Ow, I wasn't paying attention to my surroundings. <laughs> <clears throat> sorry, I was just enduring over right there. Oh, hey. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Boy, <clears throat> it's crazy how you add a few people to headquarters and it's crazy how it changes the space, huh? Yeah, hopefully HQ2 will be done soon. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, we'll just, we'll get through it. Uh, it'll be fine, we just need to stay calm, be cool, and put on our happy faces. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Got it. Got it. Uh-huh. Got it. I see you, green fizzy thing. Like you. Uh-huh. Got it. Huh? There's that. <laughs> and this over here. One chair. Neat. Are you sure we have to do this? Yeah, we get to do this. I, I, All right, here we go. I just don't know where to start. You could inventory this stack of paper right here. Or these tablets. Oh, or that table. Uh, oh, or that. Uh, I, I don't like this. Sorry you're having a hard time, Noel. This isn't like you. I bet if you stick with it, you'll learn to like it. Come on. Harper, I've been thinking about Lucy's questions, and I want to come up with the best verse link we can for it. I was thinking maybe something about peace. Yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot too, and one comes to mind. It's from the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 3. It goes like this. Isaiah 26, 3. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. 
All whose thoughts are fixed on you. All whose thoughts are fixed on you. When we keep focus on Jesus and spend time with him, we can stay connected to his perfect peace inside of us. Yeah, totally, no matter what's going on around us. All right, more to inventory. I think we got our answer, huh? Yep, I'd say. <laughs> Sorry, uh, not sure what I did. It's okay, uh, easy fix. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Oh! Pardon me, wait. Mm -hmm. This isn't good, this isn't good. Are you okay? I don't know, it's just the thunder. Whoops! Uh, hey, Tony. Uh, uh, oh, hold, hold that thought. Um, <laughs> listen, I'm supposed to be chilling out to the max right now, and I'm really stressing out to the max, and I just, I need, I need to go, I need to go. Excuse me, Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, Tony. Well, kind of been noticing you've been having a rough day. Yeah, I am not at peace. I was doing fine earlier, but then things got hard and they got crazy and I just, I, I, I don't like it. I know how that can be. It's easy to feel good when life's going great, but whenever we feel like we're in a storm, it's not so easy. That's for sure. You know, I figured out that even when life gets tough and weird, his peace never leaves us. When life gets stormy, gloomy, and gray, I feel peace, trust in God and his good way. When life gets stormy, gloomy, and gray, I feel peace, trust in God and his good way. I forget that sometimes. I was trying so hard earlier to be strong and pretending to be happy that I forgot. I just need to ask Jesus for help. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I have a full answer for Lucy now. Awesome, I'm glad I could help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the thunder. That's why Noel was so upset earlier. Hmm. You know, I think there's something I need to take care of before I answer Lucy. Hey, Noel. How are you? Everything is fine. No, everything is not fine. Do you want to tell me what the problem is? When I was little, my house was destroyed by a hurricane. Nobody got hurt, but now I'm really scared of storms. No, I am so sorry. I would be scared too if that happened to me. Do you feel any peace at all? Of course not. How could I? Well, you know, Fiona actually reminded me of something really important today. When life gets stormy, gloomy, and gray, I feel peace trusting in God and His good way. No matter what storms we have going on in our life, as long as we focus on Jesus, well, He makes it easier for us to feel His perfect peace. But how do I do that? Well, you can pray, read your Bible, or talk about it with a trusted friend or family member. Think you can do that? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. How about I help you with this inventory? That would be great. Hi, I'm Tony and I'm from Connect HQ. We learned some things today that we think that will really help you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Isaiah. Here, say with me like this. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. We can stay connected to Jesus' perfect peace when we focus on Him, no matter what is going on around us. The disciples were terrified of the storm, so they ran to Jesus, and He brought peace. When bad things are happening and it feels like our life is a stormy mess, we can run to Jesus too and trust that He is in control. It felt out of control today here at Connect HQ. I tried to keep cool and pretend like everything was okay, but all of that trying didn't help me feel peace inside. When things feel terrible, like you're surrounded by a storm, we need God's help to find peace. When things feel out of control and you don't feel at peace, trust God. Pray, read the Bible. God is in control and His peace is always with you. And not only that, but others will see that peace in you and that will point them towards God. Remember, when life gets stormy, gloomy, and gray, I feel peace trusting God and His good way. Thank you, Lucy, for your questions. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. So, which sunglasses are better for relaxing? Black or zebra? Zebra. 
This is the life. Relax into the max. Oh, hey. Jesus loves us so much that he gives us peace when things are hard. If you've never decided to follow Jesus with your life, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust.